You want to create a video and post it to YouTube? That's great. This series of videos is for you. You could simply record your video on a phone or camera and upload it directly to YouTube. But you can make your video so much better by doing a little editing. And if you hope to make several videos, then a little planning will make things much easier. First, we will look at some of the choices we must make. Then we will look in detail at how we achieve the, these choices. We will start by creating a separate folder on our computer hard drive each time we create a new video blog. Copy into this folder all the video clips, audio clips and still images that you plan to use for this video. Content comes first. Decide what your message should be and how you will achieve an effective message. Get the lighting, colour and exposure right. This may take some experimenting with your equipment, but it is much easier to produce a good video if you get these things right at the filming stage. Much harder to compensate for poor lighting or colour with a video editor. Often you will want the brightest sources of light behind you. Keep the sun behind you. Film indoors with the windows behind you. Don't have a brightly lit scene behind your main subject if your subject is not well lit. Record at the highest resolution available to you, as long as you have room to store the files. High resolution into the editor usually allows the best quality in the final video. Look for the settings for your video. Go for at least HD video if you can. 4K is even better. Remove any distractions behind the main subject or hide them with a sheet. Look carefully to see what else might be in the background that you don't want in your video. Audio should be clear and not too loud, not too quiet. Speak clearly. Vary the pitch of your voice to avoid a monotone. Listen out for background noise so that you can remove it in the editing process. Wind noise can be a problem if you're filming outside, but a small piece of fleece fabric over the microphone can make a big difference. Don't stop recording because you made a mistake. Simply pause, repeat correctly and carry on recording. You can cut out the mistake in editing. You can also record and add extra audio or video clips later on and insert them into the editing process. Zoom in with the camera when you need the detail, and zoom out for the wider picture, but don't zoom just for the sake of it. If nothing is moving, think about using still images to give a higher quality. You can pan and zoom in the editor. You don't have to record audio at the same time as the video. You can use your computer or mobile to record a separate audio track. On a computer, the program Audacity is an excellent one to use. Audacity is also very good at removing background noise, especially a steady hum from a fan. Record your audio clip, then select Effects, Noise Reduction. Select a section that only has the background noise, then select Get Noise Profile, then select All, the whole clip, and select Effects Noise Reduction again. Now save the Audacity project, and then export as audio to your project folder for your video. Videos have tended to have a landscape format with the proportions set by films made for the cinema or TV, but with many viewers using mobile devices, a portrait format can also work well. Landscape suits wide open spaces or groups of people. Portrait might be better if you're focusing on a single person. Some subjects fit better in a square format video, for example cookery or exercise blocks. Do you want or need subtitles and where should they go? Do you want subtitles overlaid over the video where they might obscure parts of the video or can be hard to read? Or you could display subtitles in their own space 
above or below the video. You can also position and move arrows to draw attention to specific parts of a video or enclosed part in a box. To start with, you will probably want to just join a series of clips together. But once you've gained that skill, you can do far more to blend one clip into the next, or to zoom in on part of the video or pan across an image or video. You can even use multiple cameras to show different views of the same scene at the same time. In the next tutorial, we will start editing our video using the excellent free software Caden Live.